For now, this correction is over, and the odds are at this moment that we're going to break out to new highs, and that could be tomorrow if NVIDIA reports really good earnings tonight. But speaking about the markets and what can happen tomorrow, let's talk about what you need to know before the bell this morning. Markets have been kind of hanging in here for the last couple of days. So we had this big, you know, we had this correction. So let's do a quick review. Back in June and July, we were talking about this market it was rallying higher. We were starting to develop a pretty big deviation between the market and the, and the 200 day moving average. And we were talking about the need for a 5 to 10% correction sometime, you know, before the election. Um, and we got that. We got a, basically about an 8.5% correction from peak to trough. A lot of that happened very quickly over the course of about three days. Um, and that was that whole Japan, Japanese yen carry trade blow up event that occurred. And then the market very quickly and rapidly as uh, corporate buybacks opened back up that window very quickly recovered. It's a very, very sharp recovery in the markets. And again, and there's some ways this is very, has, has been a very bullish recovery. Breadth has expanded. Um, we've seen a, a much better participation in the number of stocks that are, that are actually moving higher. The advanced decline line is, is, has turned back up and is now approaching new highs. All that's very supportive of the, the, the market advance and suggests that this market wants to try to continue higher. Now, for now, this correction is over for the moment. Now, again, that could all change after the bell tonight. We'll see. But for now, this correction is over and the odds are at this moment that we're going to break out to new highs. And that could be tomorrow if NVIDIA reports really good earnings tonight. But right now, like I said, everybody's kind of just holding, waiting here, bated breath to see what's going to happen uh, by tomorrow. One thing that um, you know, is, is also interesting is that we've talked about the volatility index. We had this very sharp spike in the VIX. That is completely reversed. So again, that brief moment of fear is over. And so volatility has returned back to very, very suppressed levels. Again, as, as is always the case, when you have dropping volatility, again, that's people that are becoming, much, the, the market in general is becoming much more bullish on the stock market. And again, we're back to levels that we had uh, you know, preceding this entire kind of run from October of 2022. We've had very, very low volatility here, and that's helping support the market. One of the interesting uh, things that are going on, though, worth paying attention to is the dollar, which has been under a lot of pressure as of late. And again, we've seen this, uh, the dollar was uh, holding in a pretty decent topping pattern. Uh, we triggered a sell signal back in early July. That's corresponded with a sell-off in the dollar. The dollar now getting really, really oversold here. So we could start to see a, a trade within the dollar of the dollar getting stronger here because, again, we've worked off a big chunk of that overbought condition that we had. We've had a decent correction in the dollar um, in anticipation of kind of the Fed rate cuts that are coming. So again, we could start to see a stronger trade in the dollar, particularly if we begin to see economic growth kind of get a little bit of traction. And we're seeing some of that confidence picked up yesterday in the consumer confidence report, um, better outlooks about the economy over the course of the next six to nine months. So again, if we start to see some improvement in the manufacturing side of, of the ledger and, and services continue to remain strong as they have been, that should lead to a stronger dollar activity um, you know, into the end of the year. We'll keep a watch on that though, because this is gonna have a lot to do with that Japanese yen carry trade because these two currencies are trading off of each other right now. And that's one of the risks that's still sitting out there. Okay, that's what you need to know before the bell this morning.